Hey guys, Harry 3 here, and this is a beginning to a new series I'm starting where instead of my normal videos where I'm acting around crazy and trying to be funny, these are videos that have more of a serious take on them and are usually about technology and things that I have a personal interest in and that I want to share with you guys. In this episode, I'll be uh, teaching you guys how to use a VCR or record on a VCR off of digital television. Ever since December 2013, when analog television was shut down, unfortunately, many would be tricked into thinking that you can no longer use these old clunky pieces of technology with the new digital television. Well, there is actually a way, and I'm going to teach you how to do it in this episode, so stay tuned. First we're going to go with the things you're going to need. Well obviously we're going to need the VCR, we're going to need a tape to record on, we're going to need a terrestrial antenna, well I'm using a terrestrial uh, because I don't have any antenna inputs in here that connect to the antenna on the roof, but if you have any inputs like that you can just, it works the same, I'm just using a terrestrial. Uh, we need a television right here, I'm using an old CRT, and this is the most important part, we will be needing a digital set top box, you can buy these at any um, electronic store like JB Hi-Fi and stuff like that. Basically these are uh, portable digital tuners that are designed to receive digital signals and display them on your old analog televisions. These can also be tricked into be using with VCRs and VCRs can actually record a video off of these which is digital. Now this VCR right here is a pretty average model. It's a six head uh, Hi-Fi system made by ABBA in the early 2000s. Uh, keep in mind that most VCRs uh, that are uh, built for analog television weren't designed to actually be compatible with things like this. So there are a few things that you won't be able to do anymore, but most of the things, most of the features that you were able to do back then, you can still do today with the Tetlock Box and a VCO. So we're going to get to that. So now I'm going to go over the, more of the technical stuff. If you don't want to see that, just click here. This uh, takes you straight to the normal tutorial. But I would recommend that you actually stay through the technical stuff because it is important work, uh, and worth knowing. So you actually understand what's going on, how this is all working, so you can do this yourself in the future. Okay, so now I've flipped over to the back of all the machines, so we can actually see what's on the back and all the connections. Okay, so to understand how this works, we need to go back to how people used to do it in the analog TV days. Now, in case you don't know, VCRs actually come standard with built-in analog TV tuners. So what people used to do is they grab their antenna port right here, this is the port for the antenna, and they put it in the antenna input antenna input on the VCR right there and then they grab a set of AV cables and they take it to the output right there and then over to the input on the television right there so basically what's happening is the antenna signal is coming into the VCR so the VCR can record it and the VCR is displaying the picture onto the television. And because analog TV doesn't, doesn't exist anymore, this will no longer work. We need a digital tuner to convert this to digitally. Now how does that work? Because it starts to get a little complicated around here, but bear with me. So right now we're going to do the correct way to connect our VCR to the television in the modern world when getting digital signals. All right, so bear with me here, okay? I will explain what's going on. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your antenna, okay, antenna cable here. You're gonna go to the set-top box first. Now you're gonna go the antenna input, okay? So now the antenna is coming into the set-top box. Now one thing that you need to make sure is that even though this is a bit frustrating, the RF output on the uh, set-top box and if you go RF output on the set-top box and, go, and then take it to the RF input on the VCR so it can go through the RF channels, that will sadly no longer work. Because what's happening here, if you do this, is that the digital signal is coming in to the set-top box, comes out as a digital signal, 
goes into the antenna input on the VCR and it runs into the analog tuner. Now analog tuners can't pick up digital signals. So it's going to run into it and go, hang on, what's going on here? And it's going to get all confused and it can't display it. So unfortunately, you will have to use AV cables. So going on here again, the antenna is coming in to the set-top box, the digital signal is coming in, and then you're going to get your set of AV cables right here. And you're going to make sure that it comes out of the set-top box. You're going to take this out and you're gonna put it into the antenna, you're gonna put it, now, the AV signal is coming out of the set-top box, and you're gonna put it into the VCR. So now the set-top box is coming into the VCR, and what is being displayed on the set-top box, with the digital signals, can be displayed in the VCR. Now what you're also gonna do, is now that the digital signals are coming into the VCR, and you can record them now, you're gonna take the picture out, So that's AV out, and you're going to take it to the input on your TV. Alright guys, here we are. So I've got everything hooked up behind it and it's all turned over, everything has gotten power, switches are on. So let's see if this works. So we're going to turn on the TV first. Alright. Wait for a picture to come up. Alright, so make sure that on your TV, show you that your TV is tuned to the AV channel if your VCR is being connected by AV. Alright. So we're going to turn on the VCR. So now the VCR is on. You can see the white Pro 1 over there. And now we're going to turn on the set-top box. Make sure the VCR is also going to channel AV. There we go. So we don't seem to be picking up any signals because this terrestrial antenna is shit, but that's... Hopefully we can get something. Wait. Ah, oh, man. Sorry about that. So I had to move the antenna back so it could get signals. But right now, as you can see, the digital signals are coming through the CRT. And they are going through... Right now, we are going to grab our blank VHS tape right here. We're going to put it in to prove it. Now let's say, I don't know if you watch this show or not, I doubt you do, it's kind of a kid's thing, but let's say if you want to record here, press the record button, right now it is recording, so I'm going to turn this volume down there, sorry, so we're just going to let it record for a while, alright, stop, we're going to turn the set top box off, alright, and we're going to play back the tape. There it is. We just recorded that. that. That's me rewinding right there. I'm going to use a remote. Okay. Playing again. There we go. So that is proof that it's still, it does still work. Alright, that's when we press the stop button. So it's gone now. So I might stop it there. And we're going to get the tape out again. Okay, on tape, you can still do it to this day. Well, that's pretty much it guys. Like, subscribe, comment, favorite if you have to, share this video with your friends. 
Hopefully you learned something today. You can go buy a VCR on eBay, probably get one from your grandparents' house. They really are cool devices. I would recommend trying these things out even if you're not into them. Give them at least one try because they are really cool and satisfying to use. I love physical media, it's just so cool. It's not saying it's better than today's technology, but it is. it does have something special to it. It's a very satisfying feeling. And I do love using these things. And Rainbow First Blood Part 2 is on tonight, and I'm going to be taping it on VHS using this technique. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and peace out guys. Bye!